If you want to participate in selecting the palettes I'm going to use next throughout 2021, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elaine, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup or Hmm Makeup. I know that a few of you have been really waiting for this video and it took me a little while to decide to film it. I really wanted to think, to take some time to think and really make sure that this is the approach I want and, and I know now that, that it is. I showed a picture on the community tab on this channel's site. I showed a picture of all the palettes I'm going to be reviewing in 2021. It's a huge spoiler because you see them all. And I wanted to show you that picture so that you have an idea of what it is that is available and to help you decide what you want to vote for as far as the palette or palettes that you would like to see reviewed first on the channel. Now, if you're not familiar with this channel all that much, I'm going to say a palette review is a multi video concept. First, I would swatch the palette. And my swatches are pretty thorough. If you are curious, just do a search on swatches on this channel and you'll see what it is that I do. The swatches are both for your reference and for mine when I'm planning looks. So even if you have a given palette, you may want to go to the swatches video because I, I'm, I said, I'm pretty thorough with the swatches because I want to use it for my own reference. I can't remember all the shadows and how they swatched six months from six months ago. So I will go back and take a look at my videos and just see what the swatches are or do a screen capture, that kind of thing, so that I can save some time when I'm planning a look. And so I'm hoping that that is a tool or a reference that you can use as well. So the first thing that I do is I swatch the palette, so that's one video. I do a first impressions, that's another video. And then I may do a requested look or a second impression, and then I use the palette for a little while, and then I come back and tell you what I think about it and show you some looks if I've done more than the first impression and a second look if I've done more. So, and it depends on the size of the palette, depends how excited I am about the palette regarding how many looks I do, and it also depends on how excited folks are to, to look or to see the looks that I've done with the palette or palettes in question. Based on the picture, it's easy for you and me both to do the math. I'm going to be reviewing one to two palettes a week, closer to two palettes a week. And so I want to have your input on which ones go first. So here is how I want this to work. I am going to be asking you to identify a top three maybe to start off with the palette you would most want to see, second most want to see, third most most want to see. You don't have to list a whole laundry list that's going to be overwhelming for me. Based on the palettes that get the most frequent mention, I'm going to put a poll up and I'm going to get a final tally of how much uh, the community wants a given palette based on the ones that were mentioned. So that is what I'm going to do. And, and the poll, depending on how many palettes I end up putting on, I think it's a maximum of five, uh, could last me almost three weeks worth if all of the palettes get some pretty strong uh, ratings as far as the desire to see them. Now you can only vote for one palette, so just vote for the one that is of most interest to you or one that is getting pretty popular and that you would be pretty interested in, in seeing. So you're going to see this video you're going to see the poll show up. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please do so so that you can see the poll in the community tab and it can show up in your feed if you uh, turn on notifications. I want to make sure that I am delivering the palettes that are of most interest right now for you at this point in the year and we'll go from there. So what I'll have is the picture of all the palettes, which I'll replace my, my face with that picture right now. What you'll see is you'll see some check marks on the palettes as I go along throughout the year 
so that you are not voting for something that's already been reviewed. And if you see a check mark, you know that there are a number of videos related to that given palette. I think that that is going to help us all keep it pretty straight. So to start off with, we're going to start off with this video with the comment section and then start that polling process from the comments that I get from this video. As I stated not very long ago in this conversation, in this one way conversation. Now, I'm not going to wait to review things uh, until all this is done because I'm going to lose a week. What I'm going to do is I'm going to review two palettes that I did not include in that picture because I knew I was going to start off with them. Now, I think that these palettes are discontinued, but they are very affordable, and I suspect a number of us have these palettes in our collection. And they are two palettes that were the Haute Chocolate palettes. I have the Sugar and the Spice. And so those are the two palettes that I'm going to, geez, ring light. Those are the two palettes I'm going to start off with. Let me just see if I can open them up. And uh, maybe the, the palette itself won't be as blingy as, uh, <laughs> as the cover is. Once you, once you take the palette out of the box, you don't have the name of it anymore. That's interesting. Okay, so this is the first, no, I'll show it right side up. Starting to get better at that. So this is one of the palettes. I am guessing that that is the sugar one. I could be wrong. And then this one is, I think, the spice one seems to make sense to me that this would be the spice one. So those are the first two palettes that I'm going to be playing with and doing a swatches video, doing first impressions, of course one for each one of the palettes, and then we'll go from there. That will provide some palette content while we sort out how it's really going to work to knock off these palettes um, out of the whole list of what I have available for reviews this year. And I also want to offer you a different video explaining why I'm doing things this way this year and some pretty big light bulb moments that I got in 2020 that I, some behaviors that I don't want to repeat this year or any subsequent year. Yeah, there's more, there's more, there's been a lot of noodling going on in this head of mine and I just, I don't think that I want to make this video that much longer. I think that we know what it is that's going on. You know what I'm going to be playing with over the next week as we sort this out. And we're starting the process of reviewing a bunch of palettes and uh, yeah, knocking them off as palettes that have been uh, thoroughly reviewed and investigated. Now, for those of you who are curious about palette collection roulette, so that is where I offer up the opportunity to ask for palettes that are in my collection, that have been in my collection sometimes three years, that you want to see me use. So taking things that are older out of my collection and use. I am going to reintroduce or bring it back for 2021. I wanted to get this out of the way first. So I'm going to have some new palettes that I'm reviewing and using and also bringing back some old goodies that folks are still very interested in and that you want to uh, to see me use. Those will be on their own. It's in their, their own series and yeah, just letting anyone pick anything in, in my collection and I may now that I have the community tab I may put those as well as a survey of five options just like I did for uh, the last few opportunities so I hope that that goes over well as well so we're gonna have something new something old I'm gonna say something blue <laughs> I hope that this unusual take on palette reviews it goes over well this year it is a bit of an experiment and i think it's going to be a little clunky for maybe to the end of february and then we'll get into a groove and we'll know what's going on there's going to be some back some history some background so anybody new is going to kind of get the groove of it i think it's going to be a lot of fun 
as we go along. We just need to get the training wheels to help us a little bit, then they'll be off and we'll be off to the races. If you have some suggestions, some objections, some thoughts on what it is that I am doing this year for palette reviews, please leave me some comments, some respectful comments, <laughs> although this community is pretty awesome for that. I don't get too many jerks around here. <laughs> anyway, we'll sort it out. Thank you so much in advance for your thoughts, questions, concerns, whatever it is that you want to share. I am looking forward to this. I can't wait to offer up some content that you want in the order that you want as a group, as a collective. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So three, two, one, let's get this going. And with that, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I look forward to you voting in the community tab and see you in the next video. But for now, take care. Thank you.